Hold on to your wallets, folks, because Pakistan's government has announced a new surcharge on electricity consumers that will take effect on July 1st. The surcharge will be up to 3 Pakistani rupees and 23 paise per unit and is expected to generate 335 billion Pakistani rupees in revenue over the next fiscal year to pay off the power sector's debt and liabilities. But that's not all, dear consumers. Those of you who use K-Electric will be hit with a double whammy, as the government has already allowed them to raise the tariff by 1 Pakistani rupee and 56 paise per unit this month, and then another 6 Pakistani rupees and 11 paise per unit in April and May to bring their rates in line with other companies in Pakistan. The decision was made at a meeting of the Economic Coordination Committee, chaired by Finance Minister Ishakdar, which also approved a Ramazan relief package for utility stores and a minimum procurement price for wheat. It's like a shopping spree, but instead of getting things, you're giving money away. The AIC also approved a proposal for a surcharge increase for the 2024 fiscal year, with these charges to be applied to K-Electric consumers as well. The Pakistan government had been resisting the IMF's demand for the additional surcharge but it looks like they finally caved to avoid a sovereign default. But don't worry, there's good news for those of you who use up to 200 units and fall under the protected category. The surcharge will only add an additional 43 pesa per unit for you. Lucky you. For all other consumers, the surcharge will be 3 Pakistani rupees and 23 paise per unit, with an average national surcharge of 2 Pakistani rupees and 63 paise per unit. In conclusion, get ready to pay up, Pakistan. The government needs your money to pay off their debts and liabilities. But hey, at least you'll have electricity, right? The Pakistan Bureau of Statistics has reported that monthly inflation, measured by the Consumer Price Index, has risen to 31.6% year-on-year in February, with prices rising at the fastest pace ever recorded in the country's history. Food, beverage and transport costs were among the factors driving inflation, with costs in four categories jumping by around half. The inflation rate is expected to rise even further in the coming months. The Pakistani government is taking steps to increase revenues through taxes and has allowed the rupee to depreciate as it seeks a deal with the International Monetary Fund for more than $1 billion in funding. The rupee has plunged in value against the US dollar, with investors turning to gold as an inflation hedge. According to recent reports, religious minorities in Pakistan are facing legal barriers in obtaining computerized national identity cards CNIC, which are necessary for accessing basic rights of citizenship in the country. The Human Rights Commission of Pakistan HRCP, has expressed concerns over the continued marginalization of religious minorities, citing incidents of forced conversions and desecration of sites of worship. The HRCP has called for urgent legislation to criminalize forced conversions, as well as the establishment of a statutory national commission for minorities and the implementation of quotas for religious minorities in education and employment. The HRCP has also called for a national narrative that rejects religious extremism and majoritarianism, and for the implementation of the National Action Plan NAP to counter sectarian violence. According to a report by Dawn, Pakistan witnessed an increase in terrorist attacks in February 2023, with 58 attacks reported, resulting in the deaths of 62 people and injuries to 134 others. The outlaw Tariq e Taliban TTP was responsible for the high-profile attack on the Karachi police headquarters. The number of deaths in February decreased by 56% compared to January, despite a 32% increase in insurgent attacks. The highest number of terrorist attacks were reported in Balochistan, where at least 22 attacks claimed 25 lives and injured 61 others. Fata faced 16 attacks resulting in 16 deaths and 39 injuries, while mainland Khyber Pakhtunkhwa witnessed 13 attacks resulting in 6 deaths and 8 injuries. Three terrorist attacks were reported in Sindh, with 10 deaths and 18 injuries. 
Pakistani security personnel killed 55 suspected militants and arrested 75 suspected terrorists across the country in February. The TTP intensified its attacks since its ceasefire with the Pakistan government ended in November 2022. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.